The permablate electrolysis instrument comprises a mains electric power unit used for charging the reusable, rechargeable battery. and a disposable, sterile, single-use needle housed in a pencil-like handle. Charge the battery by connecting it to the mains electric power supply. The light on the battery will glow red on connection and become green when the battery is fully charged with power. The battery has low and high settings of the current strength. This will provide sufficient power for several hours of permablate use. Open a disposable sterile permablate unit and connect its power cable to the battery. Set the battery power strength on low maintain the sterility of the microfine gold-plated follicle needle. The sterile single-use electrolysis needle is microfine and gold-plated, allowing for smooth and accurate insertion alongside the hair into its follicle. Instill a drop of local anaesthetic into the eye and then draw up local anaesthetic ready for injection into the eyelid. And then inject local anaesthetic into the eyelid to be treated. While most patients do not require pain relief additional to the local anaesthetic injection following the permablate electrolysis treatment, it should be made available to them. The electrolysis process can be enhanced by moistening the hand used by the patient in holding the battery, thereby increasing electrical conductivity. Set the battery current strength on low. With magnified viewing, gently insert the sterile needle into the follicle of the hair to be treated. The appearance of tissue bubbling at the surface will indicate that electrolysis has just begun. Tissue bubbling does not mean that the germinal cells have all been destroyed and the follicle has been ablated, as this may take a minute or so to achieve. If tissue bubbling is minimal, move the battery's power switch to high. Rotate the needle around the hair so that all of the follicle germinal cells are reached and treated. Of the ablated, if the hair is pulled out, when there is resistance, it will be no different than simple epilation and the hair will regrow. The achievement of complete follicle cell ablation will be seen when the hair floats out of the follicle on the needle or can be wiped out of the follicle with a sterile cotton bud. If either of these is not possible, try lifting the hair out with forceps. But if any resistance at all is felt, then the hair follicle needs to be treated for longer as ablation has not been achieved. At the completion of treatment, dispose of the contaminated sharp needle appropriately disinfect the battery ready for reuse. Ready for use with a new disposable single-use needle.